Before we get started, guys, I do want to wish you guys all a very happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys enjoy your holiday, enjoy your family's time, indulge in some great food. I thank every single one of you for watching this video, subscribing to the channel. <laughs> I want to thank every single fan of MDT, whether you watch all the videos, some of the videos you like, subscribe, commented on anything, made a Hell's Gate video. Just thank you from everyone here at MDT, from Face Wife to Brad to My Damn Mom to My Damn Dad. Thank you so very much for every single thing you guys do. Enjoy your Thanksgivings, eat some damn turkey, and most of all, give thanks for all of your many blessings. Thank you guys so very much. I love you. What is good everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. This shit is not for kids. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have the brand new Elite Series 73 from Mattel in the house. The brand new Aleister Black and Daniel Bryan Elite Action Figures. Super excited for both of these. I think they both look fantastic. They had to definitely be the first two that we review here in the set of Elite Series 73. We do have the rest that will come in the days to follow. I do want to give a huge shout out to Ringside Collectibles for making this review possible and sending us these figures our way. If you'd like to pick up either of these figures, guys, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. Today, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, they are going to be doing their Black Friday sale. Now, when they do the Black Friday sale, guys, they're going to have tons of WWE elites for very, very cheap, and you're definitely going to want to get in on that. So, if you want to go over there, 6 p.m., be ready. Wrestlingfigures.com, ringsidecollectibles.com, be ready. I think you can use promo code MDTOYS to save an additional 10%. I'm going to be there to get some figures. You should join me, and I did want to make that clear. But getting into these figures, guys, they look fantastic. I mean, look at them. Just look at them. Aleister Black looks great. Daniel Bryan looks great. Arguably our two best figures of these guys, which we will find out in this video. Spinning them to the right, we do have a beautiful image of Black and Bryan. On the back, we get the same image of Black and Bryan. You have some info. You'd like to read it. You can pause it now. Spinning it around, you get more images. You get a beautiful image of Aleister Black and Daniel Bryan. And on the front, we have exactly what we covered in the beginning. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's crack Aleister Black and Daniel Bryan out of their packaging. So here's Aleister Black and Daniel Bryan out of their packaging, guys. Looking very, very nice. There are some gripes I have specifically about the Aleister Black that we will get into, of course. But you guys know how these reviews work. I, I take them out of the packaging. I, you know, move them around a little bit, see how they're feeling, and then I get into the review process. Just so, you know, I have a little background knowledge going into how I feel about the figures. But what we're going to do first, guys, is take a closer look at Daniel Bryan's accessories and then Daniel Bryan, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Aleister Black's accessories and Aleister Black. And then, of course, on both segments, we will take a closer look at some Daniel Bryan Elite comparisons, and we will also take a closer look at some Aleister Black Elite figure comparisons. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and take a closer look at Daniel Bryan's accessories. So getting into Daniel Bryan's accessories, guys, I think the first thing that we want to take a look at is the eco-friendly WWE Championship. Now, taking a closer look at it, it does seem that they use that older mold, you know, it's 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 a brand new mold, but it's like similar to how the old WWE ch uh, Championship was. You, you guys remember with the cash-in, Toys R Us exclusive set Rollins. That's how it's molded. You guys know it's like one solid rubber piece of plastic instead of, you know, the molded plates with the rubber strap. But you guys can see in here all the details in this wood grain pattern. You have the Daniel Bryan side plates. You can see the little mosaic stones going on on the stripe. You got the WWE logo. You can see the freaking wood grains in there. You got all of the stuff going on. You can see the hemp going on in the strap. All those details right there. Very nice job. Uh, the side plates look identical to the championship. I think this looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. I really don't know how else you could make it. One thing I will say, though, is I don't remember if it had a clip on it. Can somebody down in the comment section below let me know if there was a, a clip on the title? I don't remember if it had a gold clip. I don't think it had a gold clip. I think it was just solid brown, so I'm not sure if they molded that by accident or if that's accurate. Somebody let me know. But I love the detailing we get in the strap and in the plates. I think it looks identical to the Hemp Championship, and I'm happy with it, man. I think they did a fantastic job on it and all the color schemes and everything like that. So I am happy with our first ever eco-friendly WWE Championship, and, you know, what a cool way to commemorate, you know, that championship the time we had it. As well as that, guys, you do get three pairs of interchangeable hands. These are the hands he comes with out of the packaging, which are the praying hands. You know, you can clasp them together like that. I call them the throne sitting hands. You know, you like put your hands on either side of the throne as you're sitting there like Thanos. You have two interchangeable fists that we've seen like 652 times. And then we have our interchangeable mic holding hands that we've also seen 652 times. So with that being said, guys, that pretty much does it for Daniel Bryan's accessories. You get the beautiful eco-friendly WWE title and you get the three pairs of interchangeable hands. So after that, guys, let's 
let's go ahead and take a closer look at Daniel Bryan himself. Now, getting into Daniel Bryan, guys, we have to take a look at this phenomenal head sculpt. And when I first saw this, I think that what tripped me out about it, you know, it kind of looked ghostly is what I described it when we first saw the images of it. I think it was at Ringside Fest or something like that. I can't remember exactly where we saw it first. But the eyes, I think, are so light that it makes him look weird or something. I feel like the eyes need to be darkened a little bit. I know he has blue eyes or, like, green eyes or something, but I think they're so light on the figure that they kind of look off. It still looks identical to Daniel Bryan. Like, the lightness is undeniable. Once we take a look at the eyes, I think you guys will see what I'm talking about. But nonetheless, it looks just like Daniel Bryan. I mean, my God, the beard detail and the face. The true effects is just beyond phenomenal at this point. It's kind of it's kind of ridiculous how good that they can make these figures look nowadays. And I can't imagine how good our figures and collections are going to look once we get to, like, Series 100. But going down into the torso, guys, we have the Daniel Bryan iconic torso. You guys know we have the bare arms with the white wrist tape. This is an attire that's very, very plain. And the figure's pretty plain, but it is a very strong figure because it's so nice to Daniel Bryan. I will say that I don't even like this torso for Daniel Bryan. I prefer the Terry Funk torso or, you know, a, a torso like that I think fits him better if you guys have ever seen that fix up, but I'm not going to complain. We've seen it so many times and everything like that. Uh, I like this attire. It's it's very, very, it's very, very plain, but I love the black with the red stripes. I think this is supposed to be his Elimination Chamber attire where he took on Kofi at the end of that Elimination Chamber match, I do believe. Um, going down to the knee pads, they match the trunks, they match the kick pads. You have the black lower legs that tie it all together. And again, it's a very simple attire. And I know that Balor Figs UK is really going to be excited for this figure because it's going to fit perfectly into his Undisputed Era fix-up. If he puts the Undisputed Era knee pad on here and the armband and everything like that, I think this is going to look super fire. So definitely do that, bro. I think it's going to look epic and it'll fit right into your pick pad. So this Daniel Bryan figure looks excellent, man. I'm really excited for it. I really like it. And it's just epic, man. I mean, again, it's very, very plain, but it gets the job done. The legs move well and everything. Uh, just, just a solid Daniel Bryan football figure, man. So taking a look at some Daniel Bryan Elite figure comparisons, guys, you will see the brand new Elite 73 in the middle. We have the Elite 68 on the left, and then we have my sort of heel custom fix-up Daniel Bryan that I made on the right-hand side on an episode of Action Figure Surgery. And you guys can just see the difference. We have like a face Bryan here and a heel Bryan here. He is kind of smirking in this. He's not pissed off or anything. Um, hopefully we do get a pissed off Daniel Bryan, but you guys can just kind of see what I'm talking about with the eyes as far as the darkness. Like, these eyes are dark, these eyes are dark, and then these eyes are really, really light. And on the back of the packaging, his eyes kind of look dark. So I think if we darken these eyes, I think it would just nail the likeness even more. But it's still perfect, and I don't want to ruin it. But I think it looks great, man. You can just kind of see, just look at the difference, man. This is Elite 32, Daniel Bryan, and this is Elite 73. This is the difference in 40 different series apart, and you guys can just see how far they've come with the paint detail, uh, you know, the, the shading, and the true effects is just phenomenal, dude. Like, look how crazy that is comparing the two. I know I didn't add the stripes on my heel, Daniel Bryan. I just wanted plain black trunks because it worked. But now we have the perfect replacement in this new Elite 73. So that is absolutely excellent. But now that we've covered Daniel Bryan, guys, let's get into Aleister Black. So for Aleister Black's accessories, guys, you really don't get too much. You do get this beautiful horned leather jacket. And I can't remember who made this exactly. I think I follow her on Instagram, but I can't remember her name. I think it's the same woman who made... Uh, Randy Orton's entrance gear that one year or his hoodie and his trunks. I think I could be wrong about that, but you got all these great spikes going on. You have all this great detailing going on with the it's like a, I think it is jet black. It kind of gave off like a brown hue, but now that I look at it closer, it does seem that it is uh, jet black. You have all this great teeth detail, all of this stuff going around on the hood. I love the horns, man. I, I think they look great. I think that all of this tattered stuff at the bottom is great and everything like that. And it makes sense to give us this in rubber. You know, you wouldn't get all those details in a cloth jacket and you know the teeth wouldn't be right and everything like that so I can support a vest uh, you know molded in rubber it looks great and everything it looks terrific and you guys saw it on the figure fits it well and everything so I cannot complain I think this completes our Aleister Black figure not only that you do get interchangeable mic holding hands for Aleister Black and out of the packaging he does come with fists so you get interchangeable mic holding hands and fists for his hands and then you get the beautiful rubber vest jacket with the horns which looks fantastic but that's all you get for accessories guys so now that we have covered Aleister Black's accessories, let's get into Aleister Black himself. On to Aleister Black, guys. This figure looks great. I was very excited for this. We are going to compare this figure to his last Elite and, you know, get into all the details and stuff. But I think this head sculpt looks just like Aleister Black. I like it a lot. One thing I will say is maybe adding, like, a shadow or a fade to the side of the hair would probably increase it. But the lip ring and everything looks so good. I love all of the, like, the likeness. I love the pissed off, uh, you know, smirk that we got going. Not smirk, but just the the 
pissed off tone that we got going on that face looks great. I think that Alistair Black is looking very strong. Going down into the torso, you guys know that we have all this tattoo detail. I think that his last figure did not include all of his detail or all of his tattoos, but this one does. So we do get all of his torso tattoos. You get all of the great stuff going on. One thing that is unique about this elite Alistair Black is that they did not include the black wrist tape because they want or Bill said that he wanted to include all of the tattoo detail, which is awesome. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, what if I? It's not accurate. He doesn't have the black wrist tape. There is a figure hack that we can get into that I will show you guys on action figure surgery to fix that up, and it will not be a big deal, and you know it won't make you lose your mind as much as you think. So it's actually a very simple fix. Uh, this is his attire where he took on I think Johnny Gargano in a grudge match at NXT Takeover War Games, I do believe, and he had the silver attire. It's kind of like a matte gray uh, coming across on the figure. You have the logos on the back. It was more of like a glowing silver, but I'm not going to complain. I think it looks great. Uh, this looks excellent. The tattoo on the back is phenomenal. I love the fade that they got going on. It gives it that real tattoo feel. I have tattoos that, they, you know, they're not bright and saturated and stuck on like a sticker. They they do fade. They look like they're a part of your skin because they are, and uh, they look great, man. All of the tattoos are fantastic. They're terrific. I love everything going on with it. You have all of his leg tattoos as well going on around. One thing that I do love is that with this attire, he had like the spikes going on on his left kick pad and knee pad, and on the left one, he did, uh, they did include, instead of having this hard plastic, they did open it up in the back so that he could actually bend his knee, which I really enjoy. I love the like technology that they did right here. They actually molded the foot different. It's not only a brand new molded kick pad, but the foot is actually uh, brand new, and I love what they got going on. It kind of looks like an Ultimate Edition figure or something. I love the foot and the way it looks. It just looks nice, man. I, I wish they would switch all of the feet like that. Like Instead of like the old kick pad that like we've seen a hundred times over here, I love the way this foot looks. If you guys can see what I'm talking about, not only do the spikes continue down in that like brownish black color, but uh, the whole the whole mold is different, if you guys can tell. So I really enjoy that. I think that looks great. And one thing that I will complain about is his height. I don't like his height because uh, I, he just feels tiny. I mean, I guess it is accurate when you compare it to Daniel Bryan. Like, um, I think actually Daniel Bryan is supposed to be 5'10", and it says that Aleister Black is 5'11", but you can clearly see here that Daniel Bryan stands a little taller, so he does need to be like right here, I think. So he is a little bit short, which does annoy me. I'll probably have to fix that up. But another thing I wanted to point out is that his uh, my right leg is very stiff. Uh, my left leg's fine. You guys can see here my right leg's all fine, but then my left leg like wants to do that CM Punk thing with the, the pine cone joint. I really hate that, dude. I'm going to have to like heat that up or something because it feels like stuck and I do not want to snap that leg. If I snap that leg, I'm going to snap my own neck. So that's something I do not want to happen. I'm going to have to heat that up or something with hot water and, you know, loosey goosey it around, but I really do love this Aleister Black, dude. I really love it. I love Aleister Black. And he could walk out of MDT Hell's Gate as your next Elite Champion. We will find out very soon, guys. Should we put the Elite Championship on him just to see what it looked like? Nah, we'll just wait to see if he claims it. But nonetheless, dude, this Aleister Black is dope as hell. So on to some Aleister Black Elite figure comparisons, guys. You will see we have the Elite 73 in the middle, the NXT Target exclusive Aleister Black on the left, and then we have the beautiful Aleister Black Custom Elite by Matt Reaper Studios. Very talented customizer. This is way before Mattel's, and he absolutely nailed it with the custom head sculpt and everything. Very beautiful figure that I don't think I'll ever get rid of. He hand-painted all of this. Just freaking ridiculous. Ridiculous. At least the back tattoo he, he hand-painted. The rest is decals, I think, besides the trunk details, but my God, did he kill it. Now, you guys will notice something immediately right off that the new Aleister Black is definitely too short. I think that this one is perfect height. Let's go ahead and compare it to Daniel Bryan real quick. So if we take out the new Aleister Black and insert Daniel Bryan, you guys will see that uh, I think this one is the perfect height now. Maybe maybe six foot, but I'd rather he, him be a little bit taller than a little bit shorter. So uh, let's go ahead and put all three on frame so you guys can see exactly exactly what we're talking about with height comparison. Uh, here's the new Aleister Black. Daniel Bryan staying a little bit taller, and then this Aleister Black staying a little bit taller. I don't know. Regardless, I think that the new Aleister Black is a little bit too short, and again, I will fix that up on action figure surgery, because you guys know once we get a new set of figures, we always action figure surgery them up, and we put them in there, and we fix them up and everything, but I am overwhelmed with happiness with this new Aleister Black. Do you realize what this means, guys? I get to use the new Aleister Black at Hell's Gate. That is phenomenal, man. I'm super pumped to do so. Here's a shot of both head sculpts up next to each other, guys, and you can just kind of see that this one is a little bit better, I'd say. The the beard is a little bit more full. Kind of looks a little bit more pissed off, not as, like, cartoony, I guess. It's a lot more smooth. And then on the torso, as you can see, the tattoos, the two uh, torso tattoos are added. The, the wrist tape's different. Tattoo placement may be a little bit different. Kick pad's a little bit different, obviously, as far as color, and then he has the spike on the 
left side. But man, I love Aleister Black. Jesus Christ. But I think that pretty much does it for this 2-in-1 Elite 73 review on the brand new Elite 73 Aleister Black and Daniel Bryan figures. Again, if you'd like to pick up either of these figures, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com, and use the promo code NDTOYS to save 10%. Again, they are starting their Black Friday deals today at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, so definitely go get in on all the Black Friday sales. Sales? Why are you saying it like a jackass, Brad? But anyways, guys, I think both of these figures are very great. I love them both. I think they're, God, the stupid mosquito. But I think both figures are excellent. I think they're fantastic. I had a ton of fun posing them around. Again, the freaking leg, I am scared to snap that off, so I am going to go fix that before I cry. But I love them both, man. I think they're both upgrades from their previous figures, and I know that the NXT target, Aleister Black, was very hard to track down. So if you missed that figure, this is a must-grab as far as Aleister Black is concerned. And I would say that this new Daniel Bryan is an upgrade from the Elite 68 version. Better head sculpt, probably not a better attire, but I still think it's great. And you get the hemp WWE Championship. So definitely a lot of great things to say. I would definitely recommend both of them. I hope you guys have a fantastic Thanksgiving. Definitely eat up some great food. Enjoy your family's time. One of my favorite holidays. I'm going to definitely indulge and enjoy myself. And on this Thanksgiving, I do want to thank each and every single one of you for watching my videos, subscribing to the channel, loving MDT, and just being a fan and commenting and watching all the videos, leaving likes. All that stuff does not go unnoticed. You guys are absolute beasts. Thank you to everyone who made a Hell's Gate predictions video. I have watched all of them up to date, I think, and commented on every single one that allowed comments. If you guys have comments turned off, I did not comment on it, but I enjoyed all of those. Thank you so very much. If you guys have not made Hell's Gate predictions videos, definitely go do that. I enjoy all of them. But thank you guys so very much for watching this video. Happy Thanksgiving. Definitely go enjoy yourselves. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know down in the comment section below and also let me know if you picked up either of these figures. Get ready for the Black Friday Ringside Collectibles sale. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my name toys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.